Welcome back, YouTube. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick little update here on my uh, T Max conversion I got going on. Um, so, as you guys can see, I have the um, the mounting plate here for my engine or my motor, rather. Uh, the motor is still not here. It's still it's still on its way. Um, I checked it today. It's coming FedEx. And the last that I checked, it was going through customs. Uh, it was coming from China. So, hopefully it'll be here in the next couple of days. So, while I'm waiting for that to come in, I figured I should go ahead and, you know, be a little proactive and not wait for the engine to actually get here before I start configuring everything. So, I went ahead and got the uh, motor plate the mounting bracket, whatever you want to call it. And I got this from howtorc.com. I think it was $24.95 shipped. So, you know, reasonable. Um, I also got this uh, battery case, or battery tray rather. I guess it's not a case, it's more of a tray. Uh, I got this off of Amazon.com. It's the Intigy, uh battery tray with straps, standard size, you know, LiPo, one fourth, one tenth vehicles. So it does. It fits my fits my battery just fine. Fits the battery just fine. The straps in just fine. I got actually I got a little bit more room in there. But the issue that I'm having is I'm not sure where to put it. Um, I thought that it would maybe fit up front, then I could use my two servo mounts, put that one there, put that one there, and I could go ahead and just mount it across that way, but if you guys see here, it doesn't quite fit flush, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's too big, um, First, first of all, it, it, it covers the back side of that. So I wouldn't really be able to open this up. Uh, it sits on that. It doesn't really sit up front very well. Uh, I'm trying to give you guys a good angle so you guys can kind of see. Now, obviously, if, if I lift it up, if I lift it up some, you know, that, that would be, that'd be good. But I don't know what I could use to, to, to lift that up. I really don't have, uh, you know, a lot of materials here at the house that I can use as far as, you know, spare, spare parts or, uh, you know, spare material. I don't really have that available to me. So I kind of got to be resourceful um, or, you know, source what I need without wasting too much money. So, Mounting them on the servo mounts up front is kind of out of the option as just the way that it sits. Like I said, it's just not there's just not enough room here. And if I slant it like that, I mean obviously that's not gonna work. Uh, so then I'm like, okay, so where else could I put it? And I went online and did a Google search, and some people had it going sideways over on this side here. Oh, actually, some people had it sitting sitting like this on this side here. Okay, which that's not a bad idea, but my ESC is going over here in the, in the, in this corner. Um, if I if if I would have gotten the mount that kind of goes up and loops back around, I could put my ESC on top of that, which would have freed up this area here. Um, but that's not the case. So the ESC is going to be going over here. I'm not sure the exact size that it is, but I'm pretty sure this case wouldn't fit. Um, some other people had it sitting like this. Um, or some people had it sitting like this, sideways. Which that really wouldn't be that, that you know, bad of a choice, I don't think. Uh, you know, as long as your straps are on, tight. And as you guys can see, I mean, that would, that would allow the motor to be there. The ESC where it needs to be, over here in this corner. And then there's my battery along that side. 
Um, the only thing with that is I don't know how I would mount it to the to the vehicle. I guess I'd have to drill some holes down through there and through through that aluminum. Um, I don't really know where else to put it. So if you guys have any suggestions, you know, please you know leave in the comments below. Um, not sure where to put my my battery tray at. Or how to mount it on there. Like I said, this this I guess would work, but I had to drill some some holes. Um, which I mean I guess I could do. I'd have to, um, you know, get the drill and stuff. But the other thing that I noticed, guys, when I was, uh. Sorry, I was getting stuff on the way. Uh, the other thing that I noticed, guys, when I was doing doing this little setup here is this, this mounting plate here. Obviously, it's still loose. Uh, I did put some, some Loctite on the screws here, um, but it's still loose because I want to make sure that I, I get the mesh right. But one thing that I noticed, and I don't know, maybe some of you guys that have purchased this mount from how to RC can maybe elaborate. I don't know if you guys have had this issue as well, um, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I need to have some washers in here or something. But when I turn, when I when I when I turn, you know, the back drivetrain here, if you guys watch there, it binds up. It's actually hitting that knuckle right there is actually hitting the mount. You guys can see that the mount's moving a little bit. And it, I actually, I can't go a full turn. It stops. See if I can back that up a little bit. You guys can see a little bit better. See, look. Spinning it, spinning it, and it, it, you know, it gets locked. It won't go any further. Um. So I'm not sure. It almost seems maybe like, like the, the mount. Let's see if I can get a tool in there so I can. Point from look, showing you. Maybe this right here needs to be chiseled out a little more, worked out a little more. But I would have thought they would have done it, you know, from from the factory or from you know where they make it. They, they I thought they would have machined it like that. Um, like I said, it's just it's getting it's getting hung up on that on that high that high side of that knuckle right there. So I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that and what you did to, to fix it. Um, I mean, I guess I could raise this somehow, but I don't know. So let me let me know what you guys think about that. Like I said, this is not screwed down tight, as you guys can see. It's 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 moving, so it's going to actually be you know tightened down uh, to where it might be even a little bit tighter of a of a, of a fit for that. So I'm just not sure why that's why that's hitting like that. Maybe it's not the mount. Maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. But that's definitely got to be fixed. Um, so that's about it, guys. I just want to give you guys a quick update. The motor's on its way. I don't have an ETA yet. Uh, FedEx is going to be delivering it. Hopefully it'll be here in the next couple of days. Like I said, it did come from China. Uh, it's last I checked about three, four hours ago, it was clearing customs. Um, and this mount here, I went ahead and put that on there. I'm having some issues as you guys can see with the, with the lining up here. It's not allowing, allowing the drivetrain to do a complete turn. And then also the battery tray, the Intigy battery tray. Seems like a, a pretty decent tray, but oh, and those are the three the three holes I have to choose from. I mean, I guess you could always drill more more holes out, I guess. But I'm just not sure where to put this. Um, you know, maybe if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Like I said, this is a Traxxas T-Max 3.3 chassis. It's the extended chassis. Um, and it just seems like there should be enough space on here for that. I just haven't figured out a creative enough way, I guess, to make it work. Uh, like I said, the way that I see it now is I can either do it here in the front, somehow 
lift it up to where you know it'll clear all this stuff here or mount it sideways like that like I said the ESC is going to be going over here in this corner so this corner is kind of taken up um, so yeah guys just you know leave me leave us some comments and some suggestions to try out what you guys have experienced um, so I can get this thing rolling here um, I do also need some tires for this thing um I haven't had luck finding tires I don't want to spend 80 some dollars 60 some dollars upwards of 80 on some brand new tires but I definitely don't want them to be in the same situation my tires were now where there's ones with water and crap in them so I kind of you know want them to be dry but all right guys I appreciate it you know thank you guys for uh, watching this video and uh you know coming along on this journey with me so as usual guys please comment like and subscribe leave me some comments and some suggestions on what you guys have experienced and where i should mount this stuff at and what i should do about this so until next time guys see y'all later